Welcome to the Vion Podcast. Ever thought about materials in a weird way? Like, what if hitting something actually made it um, stronger? It sounds counterintuitive, right? Totally. But today, we're looking at exactly that a new material that gets tougher the harder you hit or stretch it. Yeah, it's fascinating stuff. Could really change things. Think wearables, medical tech. So where did this idea even come from? Well, you know that classic kitchen experiment? Cornstarch and water. Oh, yeah. The stuff that's runny until you smack it. Exactly. Stir it slowly. It's liquid. Punch it fast. It suddenly firms up. That happens because the particles don't have time to move out of the way. They just sort of jam together. Mm -hmm. Friction and repulsion play a part. Okay, so scientists basically bottled that effect. How? Pretty much. What? Researchers uh, over at the University of California used specific polymers. They use ones with positive charges and ones with negative charges. Okay. And these polymers arrange themselves into these uh, tiny structures. The paper called them miniature meatballs, which is kind of fun. Uh huh. Okay, miniature meatballs. Got it. So these structures are key. They are. They hold the material together and keep it conductive, even when it's hit. So it doesn't just resist, it keeps its properties too. Precisely. They use a specific recipe, long chains of one polymer, poly 2 acrylamido 2 methyl propane sulfonic acid, shorter bits of polyaniline, and then PTOTPSS. Right. That last one sounds familiar. P-U-T-P-S-S. Yeah, it's common in electronics. Yeah. But this exact mix lets the material stretch and deform really quickly under impact. And here's the kicker. Yeah. The faster the impact, the tougher it gets. Wait, really? So hitting it harder makes it stronger, not weaker. That's the core finding. They actually measured it, saw about a 10% jump in, like its adaptive durability and its conductivity with faster hits. Wow, both improving at the same time. That's unusual. It really is. Usually you trade one for the other. So where could we actually, you know, use this stuff? Well, the researchers are thinking about things like smartwatch bands. You snag it, it resists tearing better. Okay, that makes sense. Those bands can take a beating. Or other wearable sensors, health monitors maybe, things that need to survive daily bumps without failing. Definitely see the potential there. Any um, further out ideas? Longer term, yeah. There's some talk about using it in 3D printed artificial limbs. Prosthetics that adapt to stress? That could be huge. Exactly. One of the scientists involved, Yu Wang, mentioned the sheer number of potential applications. They seem really excited about where this new, unconventional property might lead. And this isn't just lab theory, right? They presented this. Yeah, it was just shown at the American Chemical Society meeting this spring. So it's current research generating some buzz. Amazing. So a little peek into a future where maybe dropping your watch makes its band stronger. A weird thought. A very weird, but potentially very useful thought. Well, that's a fascinating look at adaptive materials. Stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come right here on the Vion podcast.